to say humans and birds have the same reaction to fear. <laughs> and them we can't fly away Today we're going to talk about feelings. Okay. okay, enough. Lots of feelings. We all know this is Feelings Day today. This isn't news to anyone. Do you want me to pass those out? No, Virginia. I can tell some of you are maybe feeling a little frustrated. There's a card for that. So instead of projecting your feelings, come up here and grab a card. All right. Annie, let's start with you. Well, why me? There has to be a reason. You've been here a while. You know how this works. Blue. Peaceful. It's the feeling card of feeling peaceful. So you are feeling peaceful? Yes. You picked up a red and then put it back. So what? So why did you pick up a red feeling card if you're just feeling peaceful? There's a big difference between a blue feeling card and a red. The red card is the feeling of anger. I know what the red feeling card is for. So are you feeling angry because you have to go home tomorrow to see your mom and your family? Maybe it's actually a yellow. Fear. Shut up. Stop it. Maybe you're afraid? Afraid to go to the memorial service? No, look, okay, I'm not afraid. Okay, is there anyone else here that feels like they can relate to Andy's anger this morning? No. 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 Really? You're green? Yes. That's the feeling card for feeling calm and polite. I am very calm and polite. That is the last feeling card I would ever use to describe you. Oh, really? That's very true, Andy. Fuck off, Virginia Slim. <laughs> 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 what? Stop it, Andrea. 
You've made your point. Oh, okay, you know what? I am just going to take my cereal and go back to my room. Oh. That is not fair. She can get leave it. Hey, please. Virginia, you want to go next? I do, I do but she... She's not supposed to take food to her room. You're so lucky your mom is always sending you stuff. I wish I had a mom like you. Can she adopt me? <laughs> she would probably love to adopt you. Maybe we could trade places. <laughs> what are you doing? I really want to open it. And it's making me very anxious not opening it. So, Andy, if you could... Oh! Smells like heaven. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you can have it. You know, you can have all of it, actually. Except for these. All right. I gotta go to work. What time are you off? I have some gluten-free cookies in the oven. I really need you to try them. Uh, maybe when I get back. Save me some? I'll try, but, you know, Roland always steals my cookies. <laughs> oh, Andy. Um, you forgot this. Thanks. <laughs> right. Off to work, Roland. Curfew's 10. Open it. It's not my birthday. Mm -hmm. For your six months sober. I can't take it. It's no, no, too no. much. You deserve it. That's Mother Mary, and she will be your faithful companion. Uh, I'm not very religious. Everybody needs a little faith, Bella. Mm -hmm. Now get back to work, okay? Grazie. There you go.
Please, go away. So, tell me. I have plenty of time. I've already made up my mind. You're wasting the breath. Do you realize how fast these trains go? Yes! Could you leave? I mean, they probably go as fast as a plane that's about to take off. I mean, that is a lot of speed. Can you leave? Are we gonna do this? Because if we are, I am prepared. You we, know, the good news is it'll end. We, no, we are not going to do this because there is no way. So please just go away. Well, I'm sticking to it. You don't understand. So help me. Just fuck off. I can't. I'm involved now. Sorry. Get out of here. I am not moving unless you do. Did you hear that? Yeah, did you hear that? This isn't about you. It's about me. Not anymore. dead right now. I'm not the one who was lying down on the tracks in the middle of the day, drunk. I'm not the one with the issues here, dude. You know nothing! Absolutely nothing about me! You are the one that tries with me! back there some states entirely illegal oh i'm sorry for saving your life you know i could sue you for what you did you're like a five-year-old little boy like a 90 year old old lady seriously stop following me can i come with you what seriously wherever you're going i'm in listen Start over. I'm Jim. No, no, Jim. I don't need to know your name. I don't know you like that. Like what? So. Okay. I just want to say this is in no way. This 
is your chance to make a wish. Forget it. I'll call it a wish. It's a thought, a message, something that you want someone out there to hear. This is your chance. Sometimes. Oh, yeah? Get some food. Cookies. Mm. Gluten free. <clears throat> so. So, what you do? I work. You work? You got a job this time. EMS. Eastern Mountain Sports, backpack, funny, joke. Clever. <laughs> no, I don't work at Eastern Mountain Sports. I'm ready, cleaners. Dry cleaners? No, it's in the dry cleaners. You know, I probably cleaned all your dirty clothes. I ain't got any dirty clothes. No? What about that dirty suit lying on some train tracks? Might need to be cleaned. Maybe. Speaking of which, why were you laying on those tracks? It's complicated. I think I can handle complicated. Try me. Just got out of prison. Yeah, right. I'm serious. Pretty real, huh? Like prison prison? Yeah, like prison prison. For how long? A year. What's prison like? Keep your head low. That's what I did. Made me seem tough. Yeah, you're a real badass. Mm. I got involved in some s stupid, stupid stuff. I had a job in the banks in Jersey City. I got involved with some guys, my coworkers. We were doing some pretty shady things. Inside of trading shit. The parents, they bailed them out, but I didn't have that luxury. It was my boss, really. He was the one who lied to me from the first moment I met him. When the time came, he threw me under the bus, and that was it. What was your boss's name? What was his name? Yeah, what was his name? Walt. Walt? Walt. 
Walt, is in like Walter. Yeah, like Walter. Ew. You don't like that? Hi, my name is Walt. <laughs> nice to meet you, Walt. Nice to meet you. I'm an asshole. Yeah, you are an asshole. You put a perfectly normal, innocent kid in prison. No, Jim. Yes. Yeah, Jim. You know Jim. Jim. Huh? I know Jim well. Jim. Jimbo. No, 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 never Jimbo. Never Jimbo. Well, never Jimbo thinks you're an asshole. Excuse me, please do not curse in my office. Excuse me, shut up. This isn't your office, this is my office. Shut up and leave. All right. Walt is leaving. Where are you going? Hey, Walt. Andy. What are you doing? No, we're not hitchhiking. Oh, come on, have a little. <laughs> it's just, it's not happening. Never in a million years are you gonna Where's the building? Hmm? I have a pretty strong arm. I was a quarterback. I ran track. For what? <sighs> Shit. Which one's your boss's office?
Yeah. You too. Okay, good night. Smell my hair. Oh, vanilla, nice. Mm -hmm. Andy gave me her shampoo. I can't stop smelling it. Do you know what she was doing this evening? Uh, just work. Why? Oh, it's about curfew. She's usually in at this hour. Do you think something is the matter? Oh, no, no, everything's fine. Oh. They're gluten-free. Try one. This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Are you sure Andy didn't mention any plans? Mm -mm. Well, if you see her, send her my way. There's something I want to discuss with her. Don't you? Yep. You have very pretty eyes. Oh, come on. What? I have really pretty eyes. Yeah. You don't think so? I mean, who says that? I do. You don't think you got pretty eyes? <laughs> say that, but you do know. Everyone says that, I don't know, but you know. What color are they? Black. <laughs> Green. I thought they were blue at first, but not the green. My mom's got green eyes. Your mom? You think I look like your mom? No.
wish I was a bird. I just said? Yeah, I listen to you. 
But I don't think that's the reason. When was the last time you came in the city? Andy. You've made it this far. <laughs> there is no way I am going down there. like this isn't like throwing bricks at some stupid fucking building okay you don't understand i don't understand crazy idea I was gonna cross the water, make a wish for this girl. Oh, how'd that go? Not as well as I planned, actually. Someone once told me, you can throw a penny into the water, make a wish. Actually, let's not call it a wish, let's call it a thought, a message. So if 
something you want to change. Something you want to put out there. Yeah, it's funny. I have a city that is so loud. Why aren't they doing a better job of it? Why didn't they pick up a pen and write us a letter and say to Mrs. Lissar or something? I don't know. There's a sketchbook in your bag. You draw? Yeah. You know. What got you into that? Downstairs, and I saw my dad. He was sitting on the couch drinking a scotch. He turned around. I thought he was going to scream at me. But he didn't. I went and I sat next to him, and he was sketching in this notepad. So, anyway, yes, I started drawing again. You see them? No. Come on, show me your favorite one. Please? You have to promise not to make fun of me. Never. Promise?
gonna talk about this? About what? Scars on your wrist. Not much to talk about. What happened? I don't wanna talk about it. You gonna trust me? Don't wanna get into it, okay? You trying to kill yourself? Is that why... Is that why you're in sober living? How the hell did you know about that? Oh, you had an idea in your backpack. How long has this been going on? Oh, my God, with all the questions. Don't you think we've had enough drama for one night? You tried to kill yourself. No, I didn't try to kill myself. Why does everyone keep saying that? You know, you were lying down on tracks earlier with a train coming in here. All right, here stop. Head. Stop what? Stop putting this on me. Well, I don't want to talk about it, OK? So that's it. This whole night. You're a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite? Yeah, you're a hypocrite. How am I a hypocrite? If it wasn't for me, you would be dead right now. Oh, wait, let's get one thing straight. I pulled you off those tracks. You sat down next to me. When that train came, you didn't move a muscle. I pulled you off. So if it wasn't for me, you'd be dead right now. That's me. I'm fucked up. Hey, not fucked up. You're beautiful. I will hurt you, I promise you. I will hurt you. I hurt everybody around me. That is just what I do. I don't care. I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. You don't care? No. What do you think? Because your mom died, we have something in common? Because we don't. all this time trying to figure everyone out. You don't even know yourself yet. It's so when you go home, take a good look in the mirror and see what I see. A scared little fucking girl. thing is, with fear, you can only run away from it for so long until it stares you right back in the face. House rules are posted by my desk. We'll go over those once you've gotten settled. Here it is. Here's a closet over there and um, your dresser. Your mom sent you a box of things. Feel free to decorate the room any way that you want. Yeah, Andy, Andrea, this is unacceptable. Those are prescription. You can't, you can't take those away from me. Yeah, this is a drug-free facility. I'm gonna need you to open up your bag. Now, I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, okay, you cannot take those. Those are my art supplies. You can't take those away from me. These are sharp objects. They could hurt you or one of the other girls. Fuck you. Fuck this place. Wait, I don't take well to piss poor attitudes. Your bad decisions got you in here, not me. I am on your side, but the only person that can get you out of here is you. You got that? I want to see you downstairs in 30 minutes. Yeah, well, I'm not the one who's fucked up. You want to bet? Downstairs, 30 minutes.
lay me down Let the wind carry me home Where the waves kiss the ground I want my home And the day Where the hell have you been? Dad, what are you still doing up? Huh? Go to bed. Go to bed? I've been up all night worrying about well, you. I'm back now, so everything's OK. Where were you? I just went for a walk. What is going on? Jim. Dad, just give me a break. You've been walking around this house like a goddamn zombie for a week. Talk to me. What do you want to hear? What's, what's bothering this you? This isn't easy, Dad. Listen to me, Jim. Talk to me. Just, just tell me, tell me what's going on here. I just, I just want to find the. Never mind about that. Just tell me what's going on. If you don't tell me what's bothering you, I can't help you. I am trying. Dad, here. stop trying to be like mom.
Morning. Nice day. Can I go in here? Is Andy in? You can't go in. Roll in. No, no boys allowed. Oh, hey. What are you doing? I like your sweater. Oh, uh, no. I'm looking for... No, no, no. No. Shh. You have already said whoa, enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I am calling the cops. No, no. Don't call the cops. Andy! Hey, you are know boys. I will call the cops if you do not explain yourself right yeah, now. Okay. This is an all-girls facility. There are no boys okay. allowed on Sorry. the grounds. I'm just looking for Ed, please. She is not available. Is there a message you would like her to hear? A message, yes. It's a great idea. Okay, so first of all, I was with Andy last night, so please don't get mad at her, because it was all my fault. She was just trying to help me. And I just wanted to, to know that I, I wouldn't trade last night for anything in the world. I just want you to tell her. Listen, can you just give her that, please? Okay. Yeah. Go now. Okay. Okay, I'm going. You promise, though. I'll think about it. Please leave. Okay. You really haven't had any slip-ups while you've been here. Minus the rumor I heard that you may have been smoking marijuana in the back. Shit. Now you need to watch that profanity. Sorry. And this would be the first time you have missed curfew. I just lost track of time. I spoke to Mr. Moretti today from your job. He called me, actually. He wanted me to understand how much he's enjoyed having you work there. He thought it was important that I know about your progress. Mr. Marty's a great guy. It's a good job. Listen, Andy, I know this is a hard week for you coming up, and I don't want to have to punish you for missing curfew. I didn't even tell your mother when she called. Oh, my mom? Yeah, she called this morning. She wanted me to tell you that if you don't feel comfortable going to the 9-11 memorial tomorrow, then you don't have to go. She said that? She said that. Can I give you some advice? Okay. Even if she isn't making you go, I think it would be good for you. Obviously, it's your choice. Do you trust me? Um, if I decide that I want to go, could somebody give me a ride home? I think we could work something out.
pushing the phones right now. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really have anything else. Oh, I have just the cat. I was going to take it back because I didn't know if you would like it, and I don't want to, you know, no, no. get in your Mom. face. Again, Mom. So. Thank you. Do you want to wear it today? Yeah.
speak to me in the easy way which you always used. Laugh as we always laugh together. Play. Smile. Think of me. Pray for me. Let my name be the very household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effect. Without the ghost of a shadow in it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolute, unbroken continuity. What is death but a negligible accident? Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? I am but waiting for you, for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well. Nothing is past. Nothing is lost. It's hard to believe it's been 10 years. They got all those streets blocked off. The security must be intense down there. Can't imagine what those families are going through. As it was before. Only better. Infinitely happier. And forever. We will all be one together. You also used to say that birds don't have as good a memory as humans. I'm glad I can remember. I'm glad I can remember you. Cause I 